What is it, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Division 2. And after a month of release, is it something that you should buy? But before we get into all that, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like down below. So let's click that sub button and that bell to be notified on all of my future The Division 2 content. But let's get into it. Now, is it a game that you should purchase after a month of after release? Um, okay. So I've had this question a couple of times in the comment sections uh, of some of my videos, and this is one I kind of just want to go ahead and get out there and get it laid out and stuff like that. Now, personally, yes, I think it's a great game. I had a lot of fun with it in the campaign. I've had a lot of fun with the end game, and I cannot wait to see what this game uh, unfolds into. It had its first real, um, you know, big update recently. They gave us an apparel event, which is probably the best one that I've seen in a long time because it doesn't force you to have to pay for anything, but you can, as well as, you know, you're able to kind of just get it just by leveling and doing missions and gaining experience in the game. So that's actually a really interesting way to do it. You know, there's about 30 items. So, you know, according to how much you grind, you'll be able to get more and more different things and you'll be able to create more and more sets and you know it's not hard it's it's a very very enjoyable event that you're able to have fun with you know so with more content on the horizon like that i can almost say that i think it's very worth it they also made some really big changes to the game um that made the pvp more enjoyable and things like that so this is something that if you are a fan of looter shooters uh i.e borderlands you know uh, Destiny, Anthem, uh, those types of things, then yes, I definitely think this should be on your list of games to get this year. I definitely think that this game is worth it and definitely worth your time, especially since most of the updates are free. Uh, the only thing that you pay for when it comes to buying the different editions, which is another question, what edition should I buy? Um, the only thing that you get with the different editions is you get access to the year one pass, and what the year one pass does for you is it makes it so you are able to get the content a week early so that if, that if that's not a big thing for you guys can just spend you know your simple 60 bucks and you know that you're going to get future content you know at a really really good pace so yeah there's not a lot of downfalls to this game i do want to uh, admit that at times you know when you do run out of content although there is a lot if you do grind through it you will run out of content somewhat and that's when you kind of have to Yo, 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 kind of be looking for some other things to do, to be honest, because it doesn't keep you there after you've done everything you can. But there's pretty much always something you could be doing. You know, you can be altering your build, making it stronger, making it more powerful, you know, building towards this, building towards that. So you have a lot of different options when it comes to the game itself and when it comes to like different things you're able to do in the game. Um, so there's really not much running out of content, to be honest. Now, there's one other thing that I wanted to mention is that there is a potential possibility that um, you can get the, the end game isn't for everybody. You know, the end game is somewhat uh, grindy. You know, there's different missions that you do. And those are kind of like you can do the Black Tusk version of those missions, which is, you know, doing the mission over, but with different objectives throughout it and things like that. But those only happen, I think, once every four days as of the newest update. So you have these situations in which you are kind of stuck um, and, and that's where the game could get a little bit boring, you know, and certain things in the multiplayer were making it very unfun at the time, you know, the there's always going to be metas and things, different PVPs and different multiplayers and things like that. But certain things were making the game not very fun, but they've seemed to have fixed a lot of those issues. So the final consensus kind of drops down to like, yes, I think this game is very, very, very fun. And I do think that this game is worth purchasing at the current moment. Um, I would say that if you were going, if you were looking into purchasing the game but didn't know which version you should purchase, that you should definitely, definitely make sure you buy the standard version, play through it, play through the campaign, play through a little bit of the end game, see if you like it, and then, you know, go ahead and spring the extra money for the uh, pass if that's something that you wanted to do. I definitely think that that's the way you should go about it because, like, like, Although it is under that classification of looter shooter, you know, it's not, I could see where it's not for everybody, you know? So there is that thing that I just do think that you should be super smart about it if you do go ahead and want to purchase it and just go ahead and buy the standard version. And if you like it, then really like it, commit to it, you know what I'm saying? Get those those things uh, seven days early, depending on how much you guys like to level and things like that. And um, do I think this game will be better six months down the line? I do. I do think that if 
you are on the fence about it and you don't know and there's something else that you actually do want that i would go ahead and get that and then wait till this game goes on sale not because of anything other than the fact that every looter shooter is kind of like that where the longer you wait to get it the more content you have to play with it you know so if you are looking for this game to have you know all the raids and all that type of stuff then you guys definitely want to wait you know go ahead and like i said if you guys are interested in mortal Kombat or something else this month go ahead and get that and then you know come back to this game you know a little bit down the line there'll be tons of more for you to do there will be tons of things that you guys can have fun with and i think that that might uh, be a smart decision as well but hopefully i answered any of your questions that you guys had and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys didn't make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my future uploads and with that being said guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace